Why I love you The way you hold my hand Your laughing eyes The way you understand Your secret signs For most of the predators that we get to watch Chris Hansen eviscerate, food is the last thing on their mind. But then again, Jeff Sokol isn't like other predators. There's a multitude of reasons that Jeff Sokol easily rises to the top of the most hilarious and also infuriating people to ever appear on Hansen vs. Predator. And one of the reasons that he was so fucking infuriating was how he justified his actions and how he seemed to almost argue with Chris that like it was Chris who was in the wrong for even implying that he was doing anything criminal or immoral. And thankfully he took that shit to court and even more thankfully he fucking lost. After pleading not guilty, Jeff Sokol was sentenced to seven years, um, two and a half of which had to be served and then the rest would be carried out on probation assuming that he doesn't fuck up in prison. So shout out to Walls for the upload, and hopefully our channels don't get deleted for this shit. What you see being edited behind me, you can see nowhere else. Oh shit, it's like Inception. It is more compelling and disturbing than virtually anything you can watch on TV today. It uh, I don't think that's true, man. There's a lot of really disturbing- <laughs> You just gotta stay up late. I don't have television, like, I don't have a fucking, um, I don't have a subscription to cable, like, I don't really even know that many people who do. But I'm sure there's a lot more fucked up shit out there than than this idiot. This is my complete interview with Jeff. You just gotta stay up late. Sokol. He surfaced in our predator investigation in Fairfield, Connecticut. A little bit of it aired on my syndicated show, Crime Watch Daily, but now here on Hanson vs. Predators, you'll see the whole thing. Sokol came with food and an came appetite for a sec. Chris is a really intense speaker, and this is why he has his own show. He's really captivating. Um, I mean, you could tell that he's just a talker, that he's been doing this for his entire Thank life. Sokol came with food and an appetite. He's also like not blinking. Jesus Christ, Chris. He surfaced in our predator investigation in Fairfield, Connecticut. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of it aired on my syndicated show, Crime Watch Daily, but now here on Hanson vs. Predators, you'll see the whole thing. Sokol came with food and an <laughs> appetite for sex. He left after a very aggressive interview with me in handcuffs. <laughs> Aggressive. I guess defiant from what I recall, but uh, I guess aggressive works as well. But I think I recall it, like I remember it being just more fucking defiant. Almost like he's like a little fucking spoiled brat. Not like he's like acting hostile, like trying to fucking challenge Chris. Okay, so he's just looking around, so what, you're gonna knock on the door. He's looking in. What a ballsy move too, like you would think, and, and even in 2015, um, you know, people just had security cameras and whatnot, like it's still just fucking ridiculous to show up to someone's house like this, especially if they're a minor, like you are definitely, there's so much risk associated with even like walking onto someone's property as far as like they could be and might be filming you at any given time and you wouldn't know. You should always remember that when you're like on someone else's property, like they, they might be fucking filming you. Hell of people have cameras now. He had, to go, he had to go get his shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Come on. Sorry about that. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Did you find the house okay? <laughs> no, because it's really dark out. So. Oh. Damn, he's how long happy. How long are you going to get here? I don't know, take two and a half hours. Oh, he's coming in. He fucked up. And she's immediately putting distance. Smart okay. move on her part. <laughs> no, nope, he's swooping in. So she up? doesn't like it. Sorry. She's all fuck off, dude. That's a long drive. And she goes from being, I don't know, take two and a half hours. Here, to immediately, drive. as soon as he gets there, making a fair amount of distance, uh, at least enough to where he wouldn't just lunge at her. And that's exactly what she's instructed to do. Okay. Right. <laughs> sorry, really He's quick with that hug, hug, though. No, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's so fucking okay? bad. Yeah, I'm okay. Damn, she like can't even breathe. 
Hey, hey. <laughs> this poor Save fucking woman. Up. No, sorry. Is that like Nervous Nelly? I, her name is, I think, Nelly or something, but I've, I've heard her referred to as Nervous Nelly. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. She does not sound like she's okay. I'm sorry. I'm... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, she's still a fucking trooper, though, for even doing this shit. Like, I would be nervous as balls, too. Like, all of the decoys have fucking nerves of steel to be able to, like, really put themselves in a dangerous, or in what could be very easily a dangerous situation. I'll settle into it. <laughs> I'll settle into it. Okay. So, kind of pitchy, guys. Just... Um. That was good. That was a good transition out. And then her arms go from being crossed. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Very quickly. I'll settle into it. I'll settle into it. <laughs> Crossed arms. So she's covering her abdomen, which is just, uh, that's a manifestation of nervousness. You do that when you're uncomfortable. She's covering up her vital organs. That would be like the origin of, of that move. <laughs> so, kind of you got just... And then she consciously spreads the arms to kind of like prop herself up on the table, like making it clear that she's she's trying to not be nervous. So she's trying to have an open posture. Because the other posture, like clutching her abdomen, that's not welcoming. Like that that puts him in unease. She wants him to be at ease and to give some statements that are gonna be incriminating. Now she's gonna talk about it, like, oh you brought all the fucking bullshit that we that we talked about online. Um, the um the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So what? I I didn't know that go almost as big as the um the small pizza is like almost as big as the uh, big one. So, what an I, interesting I, marketing strategy. I didn't know that. Get, like, you said small, I thought it would be like a really small one. Yeah. Said, She's just staring at it. Sorry. What an interesting fucking thing to say. And I, I mean, I guess it's an interesting move on the, the pizza. What is it like party pizza or some shit? People have reviewed this pizza place. I think this pizza place probably has gotten a fair amount of business, like just because it's just because this fucking guy brought that, that in most of the companies who are associated with, um, with HVP are pissed off. Like this is clearly an ocean spray soda or an ocean spray juice. So that looks definitely like ocean spray, um, I mean, Ocean Spray might not be happy. I don't think people are necessarily drinking that kind of beverage in order to capture Jeff Sokol's interaction. But people definitely ate this pizza. Like, there are a few reviews on YouTube of people, like, going to fucking whatever this pizza place is, uh, party pizza, and, and getting a slice. Or getting the whole thing. A big one. Since, you know, the large is the same price as the small. So I, I didn't know that. Get, like you said, small. I thought it'd be like a really small one. Yeah. He's all. I know what you said, but I had to make the the economic move. Like I know you you requested a small, but you see, it was just so fucking better to get a large. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. He strikes me as someone who probably is fairly capable of detecting the emotions of other people. Um, I mean, or at least he acts confidently as if he could. So the fact that he asserts himself as he does in this interview, I think that it suggests that he he thinks that he has a good understanding of what's going on. So he thinks that he can assess a situation and then he feels confident to kind of articulate whatever his thoughts are. Like he, he tries to tell Chris like why he's right and why Chris is actually fucking wrong. And I mean, that's a ballsy fucking predator move. The The more common move is just apolo to apologize and to just immediately say, I'm sorry. But he argues that he did nothing wrong. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I am, I'm fine. What's up I with this smirk? I know. Have I, you? No. Have you? Not really. Look at those I mean, cupcakes. Are you telling me the truth? I mean, I've met girls on mine, but I I don't like come like this far to like meet someone. I don't know why. You know. It's kind of crazy, huh? What does that mean? If you've met girls, what what are you talking about? That sentence are doesn't even make you sense. The truth? I mean, I've met girls on mine, but I I don't like come like this far to like meet someone. What do you do? You, do you mean as far as like proximity, like you don't travel like distance wise to come that far? Or do you mean come this far as in put yourself in all the risk that you did by showing up to meet a minor? That's a that's a fucking vague statement that he gave. I wonder, and I'm sure that he didn't mean to convey that, but in his mind, 
um, that's what he's thinking. He's not talking about, oh, I've never driven this far. I think he's saying I've never, I've never put so much bullshit. He was sentenced to fucking seven years, um, two of which he has to serve. So like he risked that much time. He risked that fucking chunk of his life just for this shit. Crazy, huh? It is crazy. Yeah, why did you let me come? <laughs> what a weird You're thing so to nervous. say. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. He's really trying to read her there. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. Look at his eyes. He's completely trying to read her. Um, head tilted down, and his eyes looking up. So he's 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 has his head tilted inward and his eyes are glaring up. And that's kind of an intimidating look just because he's taller than the decoy. So even though he's slouching over, he's still taller and larger than her, which would kind of intimidate her. And he's just, he's, he's completely trying to absorb everything he can about her posture and about the way that she looks. Why do you think I came? Why do you think you came? I think I know. What a good move. She's a fucking excellent. This is, this is one of my favorite decoys. It is crazy. Definitely. Why did you let me come? I, don't know. I mean, she's nervous. She's nervous. I think, and right there, I, I think the question in her mind is playing is not why did you let me come. It's like, why did I take this job? She's like, I don't fucking know, dude. Like, I don't know. It is crazy. Yeah. Why did you let me come? Why did I take this it's job? So I don't know. She's all fucked, dude. I don't know. It seems like a good idea, and you seem nice. I doubt that there was any exchange in the chat or the email or whatever it was, the whisper dialogue that indicated that he was nice. Like, that's just a generic platitude that often works, but it's meaningless. Why do you think I came? I think I know. <laughs> that's such a good move. It's not the only reason. It's not the reason. But it's one of them, and that is why it's so ridiculous that he tried to plead not guilty. That's the reason. I just, you know, been talking to you for a while and you seem like really cool to hang out with and, you know, someone that I'd like to meet and I... What, dude? Wanted to check out the situation, you know? What is that? That's a complete nonsense answer. You know, someone that I'd like to meet and I... Wanted to check out the situation. To check out the situation? What is that? Why are you here, sir? I came to check out the situation. Yeah. Isn't that kind of just like what happens? Like anytime you do anything, you're just checking out the situation? That's a highly ambiguous. What are you doing here? Check it out the situation. That's oftentimes, um, it could be called like casing, right? If you're going to like rob a fucking bank, like you, you, you see like how the bank functions, like the shifts of the guards away. Then you're checking out the situation. Similarly, yeah, check it out. The situation is in like case in the joint. So let's deal with this whole contract thing because I'm just going to be thinking about it the whole time. <laughs> she calls it out. Let me get that out of the way. This document was something Sokol put together after some research on the internet to protect himself from getting in trouble for having sex with a 13-year-old girl. He talked about it in the chat along with a lot of for real? together after some research on the internet. He, he did like a Wikipedia search and that thought he was going to be his own fucking protect lawyer. Protect himself from getting in trouble for having sex with a 13-year-old girl. He talked about it. It didn't work for Net Buckeye in his alibi letter, in right? In the chat along with a lot of other graphics. And Net Buckeye was an engineer topics it didn't work um let's let's see and then we can like talk about it okay there's plates behind you there's plates behind you do you want to grab them do you want to watch <laughs> she's so nervous yeah. okay. man well i got this for and she's just watching his hands her eyes are quickly are darting there? around Look at her eyes. Okay. She's Man, watching well, his hands. Okay. He's moving his hands oh, okay. rapidly, and she's like, "What is this guy doing? Like, is he gonna?" And she might have thought that maybe he was gonna pull something out of the bag. You know, he comes in clutching this bag and reaches inside of it. You know, immediately starts waving his hands around. Like, she looks oh, very okay. nervous there. All right, it will help. Uh, you want to eat out the table? What do you want to do? Um, you want to eat out the table? Don't you just here. He's just cracking up. Don't you just here. He's laughing. He's in a great yeah, mood. I mean, uh, yeah, I expected it to be like two and a half hours, so. You're from the Boston area, you said? Yeah, can I wash my hand? Mm -hmm. She's all, no, 
you can't wash them. Get the fuck yeah, it's out. Family that lives up there. You have to eat with your hands it's filthy. Pretty nice. Do you? Yeah, I've been to a uh, Canyon Hall. Where's your family? Like, what, what part of Boston? Dude, this is good. This is really making me respect the decoy even more for this fucking masterful small talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boston's so confusing. It's a uh, wicked confusing. Okay. It's wicked. Okay, that must be an inside joke. And if it's an inside joke, it, it begs the question of what, so did she review the chat or something to know that it was an inside? Like, maybe they, they prompted her and instructed her, like, okay, like, reference this from the chat. Well, they must have, since she's asking about the fucking marriage contract. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she's so nervous. I mean, she's trying as hard as she can, but like, fuck, she's tripping. I'll try to be cool. <laughs> she's tripping so much. I mean, you look great. Damn. She can't it's even hold it together. Confusing. <laughs> She's tripping. Silence. She she even ju she jumped. She I'm gave, sorry. <laughs> her fucking eyes are bugged out of her skull. She's so scared. She's in complete fear at this boat. Look at her eyes. Oh my god, she looks fucking terrified. Look at that. She's just staring. Her eyes are so large right there. And she's making this like, what the fuck face. Maybe she's like, why hasn't Chris came out yet? Like, she's just waiting for Chris. She's like, dude, Chris, please. And and they must be just like, they're obviously like really close by. I think Chris Hansen and whoever the security people are, like they're the cops and everything. They're close by, but they just want as much evidence against him as they can gather. And I guess that means that, you know, she's kind of on her own for a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's tripping. I'll try to be cool. Oh, okay. I'll try to be cool. I mean, you look great. Thanks. You just look different than what I, I than like in the pictures. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I expected you to have dark hair. Did you? My hair just it lightens up in the summer. <laughs> it lightens up. No, I'm not saying. I mean, I think you, <laughs> you look don't great. Like it? I think you look great. I'm just saying, like you. Hell, summer. smart. Exactly. So even if a woman like implies that you're like attacking her, like you would immediately say like, no, no, no. If if a woman's like, oh, so you don't like it, like. I think the expectation overwhelmingly is you have to be like, no, no, I like it, you know, especially like their hair or anything. Like if you make a fucking comment on like a female's appearance, like you need to be really obvious that it's like a positive comment unless you just want to get some shit, unless you want to have them like think you're attacking them or something. And, and no, I'm not saying, I mean, I think you look <laughs> you great. Like I think you look yeah, great. I'm just saying like you, That's you look real. different yeah, than, than, uh, than I thought. Yeah. But uh, no, nothing wrong with that. Well, you never can tell with online things, you know? What about me? Do, um, do I look different? I mean, you look different. I'm not saying better or worse, just different. <laughs> just different. Damn. Yeah, he laughed because she laughed. She's like, "Yeah, you, you look different." I'm not gonna say you look better. I think he was he was kind of asking for that too. I have cupcakes too. Let's see, did you make them? Look at those. Do you think I made those? Do you think I made them? Mm -mm. I don't know. Yeah. No. Do you want to use plates or do you want to just? Whatever you want. This is the second time he's talking about plates. See, so he is really hungry. I mean, he just wants to get down to the eating business. And the reason she's not worried about plates is because there are no plates. I think this is a fucking uh, a staged house. If he were to open up these cabinets, he'd see a lot of nothing. He might see a spider web or like like a fucking like like just a few crumbs of rice or something. But he's not gonna find the the bullshit that he wants. The pantry is not stocked. Uh, it's all an illusion, man. Casually here. <laughs> what did you say? Casual. Mm -mm. I have an idea. No. Do you want to use plates or do you want to just eat? Whatever you want. We're pretty casual here. We're casual? So she's, you literally said like, like they don't eat plates in this home. Is that what you're saying to Jeff Sokol? That in this expensive, nice home, you just are so casual that you don't use the basic fucking, the, the plate? Do you plate? think I need those? Mm -mm. I have an idea. No. Do you want to use plates or do you want to just eat? Whatever you want. We're pretty casual here. Okay. I, I'm like too nervous to eat. <laughs> I'm too nervous well, to you eat. Already ate, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I was just wa I was wondering if you were gonna be like how would how would you be? Like would you be nervous? Would you be like totally like <laughs> Like like you've done this before. Oh, you know, definitely that, haven't done this before. <laughs> like, she's probably being really serious though, so she's just talking about the job like as a decoy. She's like, dude, I've never had this job well, before. Would you be like totally like <laughs> Like like you've done this before. Oh, you know, definitely like, haven't like, done this before. <laughs> like, no, dude. I don't know. You just seemed very very like you didn't seem nervous at all. 
um, when I talk to you and just in well, yeah, it's different when you're talking to someone online versus in like person. coming to their house and meeting them. Really is. I just gotta take take something. Uh, <laughs> it really is. This isn't drugs. It's just a. Uh, yeah, no, by all means. Here, drink water. It's something that I take when I before I eat. So I've heard that this was, um, I watched Joey's video on this to get some of the information for, um, for this video and Joey articulates in that video that this is like, it's some fucking medicine that is an anti-diarrheal, um, and that it wasn't Viagra because obviously it's like, well, is Jeff taking Viagra, like trying to get ready for the act? Uh, I guess if it was only one pill and the pill was consumed, we'll never know. You know, we shouldn't just take his word if he says it's X, that it is X. If he had one pill in his pocket and he took that one pill, I'm saying it was fucking Viagra and uh, Jeff is a liar, so I don't believe anything that he says. It's something that I take when I, before I eat. Before you eat. In the middle of it all, Sokol pulls out a medicine bottle. Oh, Chris is going to explain it. Awesome. on the video. He takes a pill, apparently in preparation for what he thinks is going to be a big night ahead. Oh, damn. Chris a puts him on blast for Viagra. Yeah, so I guess uh, I, I believe that it was Viagra as well. Um, eventually at trial, Jeff would argue that it was not Viagra, but that is to be expected. That's 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 why people hire fucking uh, defense lawyers. have been doing all day. I'm just hanging out, watching TV, Netflix and stuff. Netflix. I think she just wanted to kind of plant like Netflix and chill. Watching TV, Netflix and stuff. Netflix and stuff. <laughs> Netflix, chill. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? <laughs> no. What kind of pizza we have tonight? <laughs> Chris immediately, Chris must have thought that one up. Like he must have thought about that as he was walking. Look, he's fucking smiling. He must have been thinking about that line like as he was walking out. So he, he comes out fucking making a joke. What kind of pizza we have tonight? Who's what this? kind of pizza we have tonight? I'll get to that in a minute. He's Who smiling. You? Who are you? You tell me first. <laughs> you tell me first. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. And that's an immediate flex to just say, you're Jeff, right? Chris is letting him know, I know who the fuck you are, and I know why the fuck you showed up. And what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging, Hanging out. out. With whom? <laughs> with whom? Her. Who's her? I, don't, I, I, don't, I want to know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you first. <laughs> Damn, Chris is slightly I, tripping I over his words there. I want to know a little bit more about I you I want a little first. bit more, but... Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. Chris is like, what the fuck? Tell me who you are. And I think Chris is smiling right there because he knows that by him eating first, it's going to make for excellent fucking views. Chris is just thinking like views Bar, in his yes. mind. I know who you are. I want to know a little bit more about you uh, first. More about you. Can I eat first? Sure, go ahead. And he's like, yes, eat by all means. Tell me who you are is, you know, I, I didn't know there would be other people here. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Exactly. It's a good question. Didn't have any expectation. No expectation. Damn. No. What a defensive little fucking Didn't angry bitch face. Before. Well, what did you expect to happen here tonight, Jeff? Didn't have any expectation. Look at that. He's completely serious no now. Yeah, now the smile's okay, fucking no. gone. <laughs> no. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. From Boston. What kind of answer is that? Sure did. Who are you? To come here. <laughs> Are you a dad? Are you a young girl? He doesn't get it. I will get to that in a minute. Go ahead, have a bite. Wow. Go ahead, have a bite. It's so huge. I haven't done anything wrong. Damn, dude. To meet a young girl. Are you a dad? I will get to that in a minute. <laughs> the piece is so big that he has to fucking fold it. So, I mean, I guess here at Party Pizza, they, they cut their slices like hella big. There's probably like eight slices. I used to work at a fucking pizza place. And like, I, I remember the, the slicing for pizza. They probably have like eight slices total for this big ass pizza. Go ahead. Have a bite. Wow. I haven't done anything wrong. How old are you? Why does it matter? <laughs> Why does it matter? I'd like to know. At least he's chewing with his fucking mouth closed. I mean, he's making a lot of noise still, but... What does it matter? I'd like to know. It's actually pretty gross to fucking listen to this with headphones on. I haven't done anything wrong. 
See right there. Coming to meet somebody. What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming law? To meet <laughs> he was gonna say. Coming to meet somebody. What's wrong? What, what, what's wrong? He was right about to say. What's wrong with that? He was about to invoke Jeff Stacy and go. What's wrong with that right there? Holy shit. Wrong. Coming to meet somebody. What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming law? to meet a young girl. That yeah, would have been the law. next fucking it word. Th those would have been the next words. How? How? Coming to meet somebody. What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming law? Coming to meet a young girl. Yeah, is that against the law. It is after this chant. Yeah, that's that's intent. How? how? Chris is like, well, let me explain to you how intent works. Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage. Contract? So he laughs. So that's the first laugh. Let's see if any of this. But it's not a true. real laugh. That was more of a sarcastic chuckle. Familiar, why you enjoy your that was almost like like Jeff kind of laughing, like, "Oh, you're so dumb that you thought that that was serious." That's exactly what that was. Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage. Contract? He's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing, Let's taking a bite, you. thinking, "Wow, this guy, you're so fucking stupid that that you thought that that was that's this is fucking." Any of this sounds familiar. Why you enjoy your pizza? I should come see you on Saturday. It's horrible. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. I would, but only if you want me to. <laughs> Takes another you bite. You say, I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. Yep. And well, then you say, do you trip? Not 20 years. I mean, you got seven, but you're not going to have to serve all of it. You just have to do two and a half without you're fucking up. Blank. Okay. Now, you know... That this girl is 13, right? Wasn't sure. She's told you. Yeah, no. he knew. That doesn't... And you're what? 37? That doesn't mean anything. You're 37? How old are you? you might as well just tell me, because I can find out. Like, <laughs> Damn, who you are. fucking stabs. Can you tell me who you asked first? I can find out like that. Who Damn. Are. Can you tell me who you asked first? I will tell you that in a minute. Because, you know, now you're, you're making me nervous and... You're 44 years old. <laughs> yeah, he's mm -hmm. making him nervous because he has all this information about him because he knows his name and he's reading back specific things about the chat. As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to 13-year-old girls like this. Yet I want to. Wow. What am I supposed to make of that? He's a predator. That's what we're supposed to make of it. Sorry, I'm paranoid. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. No, that skip. is where the breaking the law comes from. <laughs> the breaking of the law? He's specifically talking about For meeting me? No, how it would be having illegal. Sex. Here's the eye contact. But that is where the breaking, the breaking the the law. law comes from. Chris knows that's a fucking haymaker right. right to the chin. Punishable up to 20 years. Up to 20 years? <laughs> Did you bring condoms with you tonight? Well, the plan on having sex. Do you have them in your car? No. I'm gonna find out, so you might as well tell me now. I don't. <laughs> Go ahead, check the car. And that's a good flex on Chris's part. He's saying, like, I'm going to know, so you might as so Chris is just that's a really fucking ominous thing to hear too. And he receives it surprisingly. You calm. will never tell anyone about us having sex. Are you sure? Okay, I could be there Saturday afternoon. Explain. Explain. Explain it to me. Just wanted to come hang out and it looks like here you wanted to come here and have sex with a thirteen year old girl. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Is there is that against the law to like yes, it to is. have sex with a thirteen year old girl? Exactly. I put yes, my arms up like that too. To meet a girl. That's all I've done. You see how this looks. Okay, but And it's almost like he's unaware of what intent means. I mean, most people understand that criminal intent is a real thing. Like if you have a knife in your hand and you're about to stab someone, like you're going to get charged and you can't argue like, oh, I didn't stab. I mean, if it's very clear that you like lunged at someone, then, you know, you can get fucked for trying to do something that you were unable or that you, for whatever reason, were compromised to complete. But, but do you also see that... I was pretty apprehensive about the whole sex thing. Well, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't anybody be if they're right. going to try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? Uh, uh, to be honest with you, yeah. you're not going to believe me, but <laughs> I, mean, I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're like, you know, law enforcement. But <laughs> law enforcement. You think I'm law enforcement? Well, I mean, Chris that's loves what it, that. It sounds like. He's all that's right, I was dude. thinking about this on the way down. That but, shit makes him stand I mean, up a little straighter. Like, you know, law enforcement. But you think I'm law enforcement? He's not even looking well, him in the I eyes mean, when he says that. It, it sounds like. That was a deliberate move for Chris to not look him in the eyes when he says that. I was thinking about this on the way down. Right. 
you know, two and a half hours to think about it. And excellent <laughs> flex. Another one. So he responds with laughter. That means that Chris knows how long it took him to, to drive. That means that Chris knows where he fucking came from, assuming that he was honest about his address to the decoy. <laughs> And um, yeah, he doesn't even respond. He laughs. I, I of course, gonna, I, I'm not going to risk it. That's that's what I you said. You did risk it. It's not normal for a 44 year old guy to drive two and a half hours to hang out with a 13 year old. Girl. I wanted I wanted to hang out, see how she was, see if a 13 year old girl. How often do you do this sort of thing? <laughs> never done it. You've never done it. So tonight you just decided. Okay, I'm this guy's lie. like an Eric. I've seen him compared to fucking Vince Vaughn. He has like a fucking like the actor Vince Vaughn from like Wedding Crashers and shit and Swiggers. He does have like he's he's almost portraying like an arrogant Vince Vaughn like character. It's like he's over exaggerating the fucking contempt that he has for the situation. Oh yeah, down I ninety five. He's from so Boston. arrogant. Yeah, been talking to, to her this for a little while and she seemed cool to hang out with. I mean, what the you can't find any and nothing older else. girls. I can, but I had nothing else he's going so on. so you just he's so just... hostile to Chris. I mean, he's not even being he, he's he's like he's like making really ridiculous gestures, acting like what Chris is saying is fucking preposterous. Even though Chris is making rational, logical points, come out and hang out with a as he's girl. stuffing his face. Yeah, you can clearly you can clearly see that I'm very apprehensive about. Both Let's things. say we meet and really like each other and want to continue seeing each other. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, parenthetically. nobody can know about it. I just can't take that chance. And that means what he it? was doing a fucking Google search. So he is looking up the age of consent. He was going out of his way to try and either cover his tracks or to make sure that he would evade detection or conviction for doing this. He was looking for loopholes, um, even though they're obviously bullshit loopholes that probably wouldn't. They certainly wouldn't be able to fucking work if they were thought up just by him. But he, he was trying to be smart about it, even though he's a fucking idiot and he couldn't pull this it off. It sounds like here is you're grooming her, testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had sex with her. So no one would find out. To be honest with you, like I said, when I was on the way down, right. I was thinking about the whole thing. And, and even before I left, right. I was thinking, I'm not going to have sex with her unless it's legal. So Unless it's legal. Talk about a plan to make it legal. Exactly. To marry her. Exactly. So this is what. So now Sokol's argument is shifted from, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to have sex, to I'm not going to do anything illegal. Although in Jeff Sokol's mind, the contract would have made it legal. What? Right? Yeah, not like not in two seconds. Not in two I mean, seconds. Like, so if you liked her, like next. Damn, week, that, that was a nice like, close-up on not the pizza. In two seconds. Totally I mean, unexpected, like, though. So if you liked what her, like next week or the week after, you is that highlighting that he's trembling because he probably it's was shaking. Not in two seconds. I mean, like, so if you like. Yeah, it looks like he's shaking right here. So that was just a close-up to show that um, he was trembling. You know, if someone's ever doing a speech, like in a class or something, and you know, they're, they're up there reading from a piece of paper. If you look at their hands, like most of the time you'll notice that they're hella shaking. That's a really common response. Um, it, whenever we're nervous, like physical shaking is one of the most common responses that immediately will come to us. Like, you're, like next week or the week after you'd marry a 13 year old girl. No, not next week. No. What you mean next month? So will that admit it better? Just a few days worth of chatting, you decide you love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. If you it, want to marry he her? He doesn't deny it. You don't know she's 13. Exactly. Don't know. The fact her? that he says I don't you know. Decide, you love her? No. You want to have sex with her? I don't know. If that means you're a fucking predator. That answer. The answer is always no. And if you say anything else other than no, predator. You want to marry her? What do you mean you don't know she's 13? I don't know. I was just throwing things out, like, you know, just in case. Or maybe I did like her. Maybe it was, you know. So then you would marry a 13 year old girl. Because she's really cool and you could have sex. Um, after a while, if it, if it worked out, yeah. What the after fuck? A after a while, if yeah. it worked out. What, like three years of dating? I don't know. A romantic courtship? A romantic maybe. courtship, maybe. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. He's totally, he is. He's, He's defending it. Look at that response. Three years of dating? I don't know. A romantic courtship? Maybe. Imagine what that would have looked like with this fucking minor. If, you know, like the parents, like the father, if there's a father in this house, we have the father's going to be okay with his teenage daughter meeting this fucking 44 year old guy. That's fucking ridiculous. What he's proposing is absurd. Maybe. So you're cool with all this. Yeah, he's cool with it. And he stares you at him like, yeah, dude. Marching here see, to this see, home. See, I know, see, I know, I know what you, I know what you're, you're 
Well, what, what else am I supposed to think? Exactly. Do I, I mean, do I seem like a, like a, like a dishonest, dirty person? Wow, so I mean, we, we've also, we've seen this defense in Petaluma, right, from Jazzwind or Chima. He, he's the guy with, like, the fucking dress shirt. He's all, would I do this? I, I'm very professional. Look at me. Just because he's wearing, like, a fucking, like, like decent-looking dress shirt. That's a ridiculous kind of defense. There's nothing that we can learn about a person just from the way that they look. I mean, you can make inferences and say, like, oh, just because a person is, you know, really clean, like, you know, I can infer X about them. But we just don't know, ultimately. Um we can think that we know things, but you really will not be able to tell much just from looking at a person about who they really are and what they're really capable of. Do I, I mean, do I seem like a like a like a dishonest, dirty person? Yeah, I mean, you do. do, I, do I... <laughs> and and exactly that goes to most people. You know, it's like you never know, but for this guy, you definitely do seem like a dirty, disgusting person. Seem like it to you? This chat seems like it. Exactly. <sighs> It seems like chat someone is, who is 44 chat. years old. Chat is chat. Chat, chat is, is chat. But showing up is showing up. And guess what, Jeff? You showed up. That's the best response right At there. At home where you knew a 13-year-old girl would be alone after a sexually charged conversation online. Which makes you a predator. You come in. Oh, I want to hug you. Yep. Yeah, the little girl's nervous. You, nervous. you do it with everybody. The yeah. girl's nervous. You do that every time you meet a third. Yeah, Chris is watching it. Chris is watching that fucking decoy, like sweat it out for like five minutes. Like, all right, all right just keep going, keep going. Girl. I, I, I wonder how much she got paid for that. Fuck. I mean, you're not doing a lot of. Well, you are doing a lot of work. I mean, like as far as like the actual time goes, like you're not like on the clock the entire time. But like those few moments would be so fucked. But when I meet somebody for the first time, okay. I hang them. But this somebody is not. An adult, Jeff. She's 13. You need to please tell me who you are. I'll tell you what. I'm trying I'm trying to be nice here. I no, you're not. not. He's trying to so be a I. fucking dick. But I, you're not answering all my questions. Exactly. He's being I a will. fucking Can asshole. Tell me who you are. I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. <laughs> he's <not. laughs> he knows. <laughs> so if there's anything else you want to he say, he swears like a fucking idiot. You want to say, now would be a good time to say it. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, you should believe it's happening. Did you bring any sort of a marriage contract? No. <laughs> no. So what was all that talk about? I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. Okay. You, I, can, you can leave on camera. I you can leave. What do you mean I can leave? You can leave. <laughs> what do you mean I can I leave? Want. That's not up to me. This is up to. <laughs> Who's it up to? It's not up to me. Yeah, he knows he's fucked now. Now he's finally starting to see that there's an entire fucking machine here in the home. That at his when he first thought that Chris Hansen was the dad, that was just him projecting his desires. Logically, you would immediately, if you had half a fucking brain, you would immediately understand that you were about to get fucked by police. A father is likely to react completely different. A father would come out fucking swinging like nine times out of ten in the united states like that's the culture in the united states like you would get fucked up if you were a guy and this the dad would not be fucking calm and polite and uh it's ridiculous for him to actually think that chris was the dad he was definitely projecting his his desire and now he does you didn't have to come here did you Yeah, no longer laughing. It's not funny anymore for you. What do you do for a living, Jeff? I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> insurance business, right? Cameras rolling. But insurance? you're talking. I don't want. If you didn't want to talk, you could just. Right? Why don't you just get up and walk away? Cameras rolling. You do want to talk. What do you do for a living, Jeff? I don't want to talk anymore i don't want to talk to you that's interesting right it's like to say i don't want you and, and you could convey that you don't want to talk anymore by getting up and walking away instead of saying like instead of talking you could just do it it's interesting that he says i don't want to talk anymore it's like your words are not in alignment with your actions here insurance business right cameras rolling insurance i don't want to talk anymore i don't, I don't want to talk anymore as i said you're free to leave you shut it off. Hell no. So this shit's gold, dude. I mean, what is this? It's an investigation <laughs> for a television program called Hanson vs. Predator, where we investigate... Nah, come on, dude. This was YouTube. You knew it. Even back in 2015. Predator, where we investigate... You should have known. Grown people who go online 
but as Chris Hansen is just like a product of the 20th century, so even like in 2015, he's still like in television mode. To create inappropriate illegal relationships. <laughs> inappropriate illegal. So unless you have something else to say, now would be a good time to go. He's <laughs> like, get the I fuck out. Else to say. Then oh, dip. You can take your pizza if you like. You want a slice? I'm good, thank you very much. <laughs> so the cops here? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Or the, uh, if they're here, just bring them in. It'd be best if you want. <laughs> he's all just leave. <sighs> so he's gonna take his time, take a drink. You might as well eat the pizza, bro. Grab your jacket. <laughs> he should have just Not for the garage. took a big ass bite. <laughs> he knows, he knows he's about to get fucked. And the cops are right there. Yep, there you are. And they slap those Sokol fucking cuffs was sentenced on. sentenced to seven years in prison, serving a mandatory 30 months. He is eligible for parole in June. And that was the confrontation of Jeff Sokol. Until next time, everyone.